boy Scorp Diesel, man. I'm in the building, man. I was born in the Bay Area. Yeah, I moved to Colorado Springs, you know, when I was a teenager. Uh, right now, though, so I'm living in Atlanta, you know, doing my thing, uh, networking, trying to uh, get these beats off to the world, you know. Yeah, my biggest influence in the game was a lot of West Coast producers, you know, from the West. I like the DJ Quick. You know, he'll speak that hardcore gangster shit, but the beats be that will have a lot of melody to it and different instruments. And that was kind of different than what a lot of other uh, producers was doing at the time. You know, they was, you know, working with a lot of samples, but Quick used to have, always had them, them extra instruments, man, and how you, how you, you know, vibing. Also, like Timbaland and uh, the Neptunes, Pharrell. You know, I, I love the BA sound. You know, that sound is here forever, man. They they changed the game. They really influenced me to really do this music shit, man. And, and know how to just stay stay in the game, stay active. I've been making beats for, for like 15 years, you know what I'm saying? For a minute, so I'm still active in it, like a new cat on the block, you know what I'm saying? I like a lot of new producers, you know, like Lex Luger and uh, the drummer boy, Shorty Rap, you know, who've been in the game for a minute. But they really influenced me too, you know, just hearing that new sound. Yeah, as far as equipment, you know, I, I was, uh, I spent a lot of time on the MPC, a Motif, a Phantom, you know, I'm Logic, I use basically different things. Uh, right now, I've been going hard on the machine, I've been using that lately, so, you know, just what all it depends on what mood I'm in. That's what I basically work with. I started playing keys as a young youngster when I was like four. I learned in church, you know, playing keys and stuff, and uh, just doing drum, playing drums, learning different instruments. I started, you know, actually creating beats when I was like 14, 14 years old. You know, my, uh, my first piece of equipment I made a track on was a, it was a, like a flow track and like a rolling drum machine. You know what I'm saying? Times change now, so you know, it's good to keep up with the times. You know, and work harder and you know, work faster, and smarter. You know what I'm saying? But check me out, man. That Pimp C back. Uh, by your boy Two Chains, man, that's really going hard. But also, uh, Pressing for Trouble. It's a hot street record featuring uh, Yo Gotti and uh, Trey the Truth and Walker. You know, on the remix. All uh, shots out to my, my dude, Young Shot, man. We produced that, uh, that Yeah Boy and I Know What She Like featuring Yo Gotti. That was a real big club banger with a real good look, too. You know what I'm saying? As far as getting on BT and 106 and all that. I work with Twister, uh, uh, Lloyd, got a record together. But uh, don't be surprised if you hear some stuff, you know, you know, coming out with some with some big cats, man. I fuck with my boy Rocco Tough, uh, still going hard with him. Uh, also check out check out my boy Young Cabby, that's about to, that's coming hard. Left Mike Movement, that's the whole different Colorado thing we doing. About to come come through like a motherfucking tsunami on y'all niggas, man. Am I just rap? No, I'm not just rap. I do everything, man. I make pop tracks, R&B, rock, country. Just right now, I'm on the grind. Like, like you know, rap is just where you know what I'm saying. I'm getting it real fast right now until you know I can be in a situation where I can create and focus on other things too. Uh, you know, but I also do pop records. I also have you know writers who. Who, you know, write to my pop tracks and they get sent out. So you never know, man. You might hear something with Britney Spears or, you know what I'm saying, Lady Gaga, whatever, man. It's all about getting in that loop, man, hearing that right, that right sound. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing.